Hey guys, Coop here. Today we're going to teach you guys how to make a single cup turner. Quick and easy, down and dirty, no frills, just a simple turner. Now I am not the creator of these, didn't make these, didn't design these. Uh, I saw a video put out by Ryan Finners and this is just my version of it where I've tweaked it. His version is a lot simpler. It's just no frills. This one is just done up a little bit different to where it looks a little better, but they both work the same. Anyway, let's just dive right on into what it takes to make one of these. First off, you'll need your wood. This piece here has got to be a one by six by 20 inches long. Where's my pencil? One by six by 20 inches long that's the first piece then you'll need five one by four by five inches long five of these let's get the drilling part out of the way first well we'll just get rid of the parts first that's the wood now you'll need a three-quarter inch male coupling you'll need the motor of course You'll need four drywall screws. And these screws here, are, doesn't really matter as long as they're small enough to mount the motor to the back of it. These here are eight by one half stainless steel. They don't have to be that big. They can be a little smaller, but that's all the material. Oh, and you'll need one piece of PVC pipe, five and three quarter inches long. All right, that's it for materials. As far as tools, you'll obviously need a saw to cut your wood. You'll need either a screwdriver or a cordless drill to put it all together. You'll need some glue and you'll need a clamp. Just some kind of clamp to hold your work. So we'll get into the drilling part of it first. First, you want to take your wood, basically lay it on your, your board, draw a line, Lay it down, draw a line, 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 just like I have it marked out here. Then what you'll want to do is turn it over and drill all those holes and countersink them. That way when you screw from the bottom, this will set down in and it won't have anything bulging up on your table. Then what you'll want to do is this piece here, you'll mark down from the top, three quarters of an inch, draw a line, which is the width of one of your boards pretty simple then you'll take your pipe just set it right on that top line get you a mark down here draw you a line crisscross it so you can get the uh, exact center of this board once you get the exact center of that board then you'll know where to drill what you'll do then is you'll take two you'll take the one you just marked up and you'll take another one and you'll put them together. You can use double-sided tape, you can use a clamp, anything you want to secure these together while you drill them, because you want to drill them the exact hole through both of them. So once you have them put together to where they're clamped, go over to your uh, drill press, and with a inch and a quarter, forcing a bit, nope, wrong butt, wrong bit. with a inch and one eighth Forstner bit. You'll just drill right down through both of them. If your drill can't get through both of them, drill through the top one enough to where it will score the bottom one. And then you just take the top one off and you finish drilling the bottom one. That way both of these blocks will be identical where the hole is drilled. That way your pipe will line up perfectly. Once you've got all that drilled and done, now comes the fun part of putting, oh, well, nope, we got one more thing to drill. You got to drill these two holes on the back of one of them. This is where your blue wire for your motor goes in, and this is where your cord, your brown cord, like this, will go in here, and you'll wire everything up on the inside. Very simple to wire. You have two wires here, uh, your lamp cord, it'll have two wires, you just 
wire the two together it'll be on the inside of the box then you'll have your plug coming out the bottom there's your measurements you got a half inch from the bottom drill a quarter inch hole two inches from the bottom another quarter inch hole that's just for your wires this will be your back board this one will be your front board then you've got the two sides and then your top once you get this piece done which I recommend taking a clamp clamping it down just a little bit to where you can get everything squared up once everything's squared up you're ready to rock now before you put all this together I suggest you put glue we'll just start that over we'll take you'll take glue and you'll run down the sides of both boards then you'll glue them up to get you'll put them together put your clamp on it you know they'll you just gotta work with it till you get all the boards even Once you get all the boards even, give it a little bit of tightening. Now, here's where it's going to be your choice to do what you want to do. I have a nail gun, so I use a nail gun to nail mine. You can use regular nails. Once you have it all glued, you have it all put together. Everything's squared up. I take my nail gun, I just pop a couple of nails in each side. And it's done once that's done I'll glue the top of it set this on top and I'll hit it with my nail gun or you can drive screws but if you drive screws make sure that you pre-drill guys okay once all that's done all, all this is done then you'll want to mount your motor to mount your motor you're gonna need this little cog this little bushing what this is is it's a 7 8 inch dowel rod you'll want the 7 inch dowel, inch dowel rod and you'll have to sand it down till it fits inside your pipe snug once it fits inside your pipe snug you can push it in a couple of drops of super glue on the other end it ain't coming out to attach your motor to it you need a 7 millimeter drill bit you drill a center hole in this dowel rod seven millimeters it fits perfect right on the shaft <clears throat> fill this with epoxy or glue slide it on there let it set and dry once it's dried then you can put it inside the pipe push it all the way in a few drops of super glue you're done it's ready to go and to mount it I've got one here already done to mount it, it's pretty simple you just go through the holes of course we'll have this off of there by then you go through the holes you let it line up drill screw your screws in you're done now for display purposes now once you've got it all screwed together you'll take your two blue cords you'll go through the top hole And then your brown cord, which I don't have one right now, it will go through the bottom cord or bottom hole and you'll hook the two together. Once all of that's done and you got all that hooked together, you'll have your box like so. put the clamp on it just to hold it a little bit One. Hey, 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 hey. just a little bit everything squared up okay your box is done your motors mounted now you want to secure this here what I do 
is take some glue, put in your cert, your square here. You'll glue that right to the top of it. Take another clamp, clamp the two together. Turn it over, insert your screws from the bottom. Once your screws are inserted, let it set overnight. It'll dry, be good to go. All right, guys, I know I didn't put this all completely together, but it gives you an idea of how to make this. It's very simple. If you want the rounded tops, if you know somebody with a router, they just route the tops of it with a quarter inch cove bit. All right, guys, I hope that helps you. I hope that uh, shows you how to make one. And with all that being said, you want to put your comments and questions down below. Coop will be more than happy to answer them. And you guys all know we got the Facebook, all the social media sites up and going. Facebook, Instagram, Instagram, Pinterest, Google Plus, all that. All the links will be down below. You guys want to join us on one of them, all of them, or none of them. It's entirely up to you. But I hope this helps you. And old Coop's pretty much going to say, Coop out.